But joining me right now is the CEO of Forgotten Harvest, Kirk Mays, and a man I'm proud to call a friend. Kirk, this is an important day, a day to give. Yes, uh, I can't thank you enough, uh, everyone from the Channel 17, the Scripps family, uh, for really helping us to highlight the need right now in Metro Detroit. Um, also want to give a special shout out to Etzel and Cynthia Ford for their matching gift during this hour. You know, people in our community um, just went through a really tough time with COVID. We're in many ways still going through that. And all the way on the other side of the planet, we have a war that's going on in Ukraine and, and with in Russia, and it's affecting people's food prices, supply chain shortages, um, are affecting the way that people can get the regular products they would get. The cost of everything has gone up and people just don't understand. Mm -hmm. The business leaders that we know throughout um, our communities and in our country are telling us that we don't know when this is gonna go away and get ready for even worse times. And it's just a scary time right now for people. So we need help. We need help with um, resources and food and volunteers so that as this whole uh, episode that we're going through again uh, continues on we'll have the resources and the help we need to help people who are vulnerable during this time and just don't know when help is going to come and that's so important Kirk because you just don't know right. there are families who may have been secure and found themselves doing okay and now here we are in a situation where they never thought they would be in exactly right. needing fresh food and vegetables to stay healthy and keep their children healthy that's exactly right and unfortunately many of our neighbors live with this need and the fear and the embarrassment and everything that goes with it um, in solitude so sometimes we need to reach out and ask the questions and pay attention a little bit more to make sure that we're doing what we can, what we can when we can um, and that's why we're here for forgotten harvest offers a safe environment for people to come to ask for help and we give it to them and they walk away feeling not only um, like they've been served with respect, but they're a little bit more whole um, than they were when they came to us. And uh, I think everybody has a role to play in that. And that is so important, Kirk, thank you. And it is our honor and pleasure to serve right along with you. WXYZ, the Scripps Foundation, that first $5,000 that comes in, we plan to match that. And of course, Cynthia and Etzel Ford doing their part in our community as always. So partner, it is a big day here, a big day for the families in our community, and we all need to rally around and be that village. Back to you.